Ok, I am François Delcourt, watch Motorsport New TV. How did you start your career and why rally? Why rally? I start in uh, 1881 with Otto Bianchi uh, A112, uh, you know, Abarth. And because uh, in front of my house in uh, 1962, no, 1962, I was just born. But in the 70s, you know, there was the rally of the north of the road in the north of France. And it was European Championship, and I remember in winter time the Alpine uh, Renault, you know, passing in front of my house sideways because it was snowing at this time. It was in February or January, something like that. And I remember well. And, and after at school, I was saying all the time, later I want to be a rally driver. And just that all, you know, I, I want to be a rally driver. And as soon as the people were saying, yes, but it's not a job, yes, it is a job, I want to be professional and I will be. And then as soon as I had the driving license, 18 years old, and uh, I buy the Hotel Bianchi with my girlfriend. And we have done the first rally, we win the classification. And very, very quickly we went to Monte Carlo, because we found the budget for that in the north of France with a big society like... Uh, La Redoute, Trois Suisses, big society in the north of France. And we found the budget to do Monte Carlo and uh, after, when I was 25, 26 years old, I've been a professional with Peugeot. <laughs> yeah, talking about Monte Carlo, you have uh, there five podiums uh, over the years and uh, one victory in 1994. Uh, all, all accomplished with Ford cars. And uh, can we say that Ford is the most uh, important manufacturer for you, uh, for your entire career? Yes and not, because Peugeot as well, you know, I've done many, many things with the Peugeot 306. I start also the development of the Peugeot 206 in the World Championship. I didn't win with this car, but uh, I make also many podiums. And, but for sure Ford was very important, because I won Monte Carlo with Ford uh, in 1994. Uh, second 1993 and 1995 second as well, many times second. Then uh, it's very very important rally in my career because I've done uh, Monte Carlo maybe, I don't know, around 20 times, 19 times, something like that. Even this year we were very unlucky because we stopped after 3 km with Dominic with the focus from Malcolm Wilson. Uh, we had the uh, uh, accelerator broken after 3 km which was difficult to accept from an uh, official team. But uh, in any case, uh, between Monte Carlo and me, it's a big love. Yes, and uh, you said about Peugeot. The, in 98 and Tour de Corse, uh, you finished second with the Peugeot 306 Maxi. Uh, that had just front drive. And uh, you 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 beaten drivers uh, with uh, WRC cars. How crazy was that? I mean, to second place in the. It was a fantastic fight, and uh, normally, normally I had to win this event because at the end, uh, Colin McRae was uh, out of the rally because his tire was not um, legal. But in any case, uh, he was in the classification at the end, and we finished second behind him. It was. Uh, fantastic result for sure for Peugeot for us for everybody but you have to believe also that the 306 was very 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 good car you know very very efficient car fast car and uh, the handling of this car was just unbelievable you know, and the, the, the sound also of the, 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 the engine was terrible you said about rally Monte Carlo and uh, it's a special event for you and someone, uh, I recall that uh, someone said uh, uh, you have there uh, so many wins that uh, some drivers don't have the years, uh, the age. Uh, so you, you've been there like, uh, I don't know, 19, 20 times, I think. Yes, and I finish around the 15 times. All the position I've done, first, second, third, four, five, six, seven, not eight, nine as well. I've done many, many positions in Monte Carlo and uh, I love this rally. I don't know why, but I love this event. Over these years, uh, which rally driver you consider it was your uh, best opponent? 
Where in, in Romania, you mean? No, over your entire yeah. career, yeah. Oh, there were so many, you know, I was very impressed and uh, I appreciate a lot uh, somebody like Colin. Unfortunately, he's not there anymore, but uh, Colin okay, was a fantastic guy. Very fast, <laughs> impressed to, to, to see the performance that he was doing sometime. And uh, Oriol as well, Carlos Sainz was a gentleman driver. And uh, to be honest, many and love at the moment because I have a good relationship with Sebastian and he's a uh, very very good driver for sure yeah talking about sebastian this is my next question uh, he won nine uh, world rally uh, championships you think he's the best rally driver or uh, who is it in your opinion the best rally driver he is definitely the best for sure he's definitely the best. even if we can say sometime okay there is not so many competitors at this time but i don't believe what i'm sure is incredible man and he has something special maybe coming from the gymnastic and uh, he's so good, so strong in his head and uh, he has all the quality to be a champion. Yeah, what do you think is the secret for the French school of uh, rally drivers? I mean, uh, and not only just rally drivers, but you have uh, in France, uh, you have a good school for, uh, for the drivers. What do you think is the secret? I appreciate a lot the question because uh, It's good to answer. It's the first time that somebody uh, asked me this, this question, and it's simple to, to 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 understand. I think it's coming from the the quality of the road, because we have fantastic rally in France, French Championship, that particularly. It's the reason why many many factories are coming to in France to make tests, for example, in Rally du Var, and also they can block the road very easy to make a test for Michelin, Pirelli. Everybody are coming in France. The championship also has a very, very good level with many, many trophies. For example, when I start my career, I've done the Peugeot Trophy 205 and we were about 50 people with the same car, you know. And for sure, the first was a very good driver all the time. It was like to win rally, to be first in Trophy Peugeot. And it's still the same in France. Every year there was many, many trophies. Lob came from this trophy, Panigi came from this trophy. Me as well. Then uh, I think it's a combination between the quality of the road, the level also, and uh, maybe also rally in France. It's something uh, from the past, something historic. You know, Monte Carlo. It's maybe the oldest rally. Then uh, I think it's a reason why. And the FSI, it's also. They push also, the FFSI is pushing also to get a young driver and they help, they put money on it, they believe on it, and this is good. Uh, but uh, the quality of the road is just unbelievable. But from the north to, to south of France, you have completely different rally. You have fast rally, slow rally, uh, hot condition, uh, high sometimes, and it's incredible country. And uh, you have now 99 starts in WRC, and the next one will be the 100. Uh, yeah. And uh, what what do you think it will be? In what rally do you think this will happen? I would like Monte Carlo because it will be the 20th, and then uh, and 100 in the World Championship. For sure, I hope it will be Monte Carlo. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Talking about uh, your co-driver Dominique Savignoni, back in 2002 in Rally Wells, uh, you had some tension moments when you go out with the Mitsubishi. How is now your relation? How is it, it is evolved over this over the years? You know, Do Dominique for me it's not my co-driver. It is my like my brother. You know, you have not this relationship, P driver co-driver. No, but for sure in. Uh, Well, rally we had a big moment, you know. Just for you to understand, the rally before I had the biggest crash in my career in Australia. Okay. Then I've done the the, 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 the rally after that, 15 days after in uh, Welsh with Dominic because Daniel Gratalu was not able to do the rally, and all my rims was broken. Then the doctor say, no, you cannot do it. Yes, I say I will do it and I will put the corset to do it and it will be right. Then we had a big crash again, and the Mitsubishi was at the end, not very competitive, not very efficient. And I was uh, afraid, you know, when I had the crash, and I said to me, eh, 10 times too late, 100 times too late, you are late. Uh. Then we had 
big moment together. But in any case, we are still together and we are so friends. And uh, it's so nice to do rally with Dominic. And in any case, if I will stop my career now, I will stop definitely. I don't want to change any co-driver and to, to be back again with somebody else. You are here in Romania for the third year consecutive. Uh, you won back in 2012 and 2013 uh, the championship. Uh, do you think you can do it again this year? It's not true because this year is a bit different. You know, I drive the Mitsubishi, the, not the Mitsubishi, the Subaru Group N, and uh, it's not easy to win, to win with the Subaru Group N because the car is not able normally, if you look, not able to win. But we won in uh, Tulcea and uh, now we are again with the Subaru. I was expecting the Peugeot to be comfortable, but uh, in any case, if it's raining, I think I have the big chance. I can fight for the victory, but if it's dry, it will be difficult. Then in this case, it will be not champion here. We have to wait. So what's your favorite round here in Romania? There was many, many, many nice rally. I don't like, most I don't like the tarmac, but the tarmac is okay, Brashov is nice, uh, Cluj last rally was very interesting also because you have both gravel and tarmac. And so in you have tarmac more? No, more no gravel, gravel, yeah. gravel, no, 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 not so much, I, I prefer gravel. And about gravel, Yashi is absolutely unbelievable, Tulshia was fantastic as well, the quality of the road is just unbelievable, even in the World Championship there was not so many rally like that. Not so many. In France, for example, we have very, very good quality of tarmac rally, not gravel rally, not like that. Like Tulcea, uh, Yash, it's fantastic. Here as well, I love, I love, I love the long stage with tarmac, both and uh, mixed Boinest. stage. Boinest. Yeah, I like very much. Uh, what about your team here in Romania? In comparison with uh, the teams uh, from. Uh, which you were running uh, in WRC. What's your opinion about this team? It's, uh, it's okay? It's difficult to tell you because you have some help from um, Romania, from the team from Romania, but also it's tall, it's coming you know, from Austria. And most of the time I can speak about Munareto, the Italian team was absolutely great team. It's a little team, but sometimes with a big team with 100 and 150 people, like in the past with Ford, it's better to get a little team with 20 people that you know everybody and you make sometimes a good result, better result like that. This is... Uh, thank you very much. Thank you.